It can be hard to think of what to do with those leftovers, but we're showing you a simple way to clean out your fridge this week. Helping us do just that is the Valley Today's Abby Furchner. She joins us live this morning from Family Wellness. Good morning, Abby. Good morning, Lisa and Jordan. I'm here with Family Wellness Dietitian Aaron Walters. And Aaron, I want to talk about this pumpkin smoothie that we made because this is one of those smoothies that a lot of people can relate to, especially because it seems like we buy a lot of pumpkin puree in that can and then it sits in our pantry for a really long time. So instead of making another pumpkin pie, you can add it into a smoothie. Exactly. And what people don't often know about pumpkin is that it's actually um, a really healthy addition mm -hmm. to your morning smoothie and low in calories, high in vitamin A, um, great source of nutrition and energy to kind of get you through your day. And too, if you're anything like me, I will buy the spices or seasonings for that one that one meal or that one thing, and then I'll never touch it again. But you can kind of mix it up definitely with the smoothie. Use that extra allspice or that pumpkin. Exactly. So the recipe that we are doing today calls for allspice, um, cinnamon, and... Oh, ground ginger. Ooh. But you could also use fresh ginger. You could use pumpkin pie seasoning. You could use a little nutmeg, a little bit of clove. Um, you could even use like a teaspoon or two of a powdered chai mix if you wanted to do a pumpkin chai version. So lots of different options. I love that idea. Clean out the cupboards as well. And then I really want to talk about this cranberry one that we made a little bit earlier too, because cranberries, I know just like the pumpkin, you might have that can of cranberries or those frozen can cranberries too. I know. And cranberries are... This smoothie is it's so refreshing and it's such a great way to start your morning. Cranberries are such a great source of vitamin C. They're really they are a superfood. They're high in antioxidants. They're a good source of fiber. Um, they can help boost the immune system, promote mm. good urinary health. It, they're, yeah, so it's a great way. So our, this recipe, we're using Greek yogurt. I like to use a vanilla flavored yogurt mm. because cranberries are tart. So it ups the sweetness just a little bit without having to add a lot of sugar. And then also orange juice and um, you peel an orange and put the orange in there so you have that extra vitamin C and fiber. And I don't have any more bananas available, but the recipe we used did call for two bananas that were frozen. Oh, I just love these ideas. Definitely helps you kind of clean out everything after the holidays, start fresh. And I tried the cranberry one, it's delicious, but the pumpkin one smells just as amazing as it tastes. This one's my def absolutely my favorite, and we'll have that recipe up on valleynewslive.com. Yeah, I don't know if I could pick a favorite. They all sound delicious. Abby Furchner reporting live. Thank you. Still to come on the